Hi, uh, my name is uh, Bruno Silva. Today we're doing our second video on our new uh, vlog series and we're talking today about uh, overdentures and uh, specifically like implant overdentures and how implant overdentures are different from uh, conventional denture, um, how overdentures are different from um, fixed dental implant bridges. Uh, these are all questions that quite often patients will ask us uh, when they're looking to have dental implant treatment. And I thought by making this video, I could maybe go through some of the advantages, disadvantages, and also things to be aware of uh, when considering dental implant treatment in general, uh, and specifically with um, overdentures. It's a lower overdenture type scenario. A very common treatment that we provide is uh, an overdenture with just two implants. That is a really uh, fantastic solution. Someone who has uh, an unstable lower denture with just two implants it can be a tremendous uh, improvement in terms of a function. The denture will maybe move very slightly but it will be fixed in position that it won't move around. So with just two implants it can really make a big difference to somebody's quality of life. On that basis an over denture for example with just two implants can be a really um, cost effective and affordable solution for patients who are looking for a treatment option that can replace multiple teeth. So in the lower jaw, you would need a minimum of two implants. The lower jaw bone is denser and harder and there's generally more volume. Whereas in the upper jaw, the jaw bone is a little bit softer and there's less bone tissue to work with. And it's recommended that in the upper jaw, you would need a minimum of four implants. Generally, those implants should be joined together. That basically provides some support to splint themselves um, in a more strengthened type position. So fixed implant bridge means you have um, a bridge which usually comprises of like artificial gum tissue and teeth and the bridge is screwed into place. So uh, the dentist can remove the bridge for maintenance or to check if anything's uh, wrong. If it accidentally breaks, it can be unscrewed, it can be repaired and it can be screwed back into position. The majority of patients want to or would like the idea of having a screwed fixed type solution because it's the closest um, solution we have to um, your natural teeth. They're kind of connected to the bone. After a very short period of time, the teeth feel like, in most cases, that they're a part of your jaw. Quite often patients will say, these teeth just feel like my own teeth. I've um, got used to them really, really well. Now, one of the disadvantages with uh, fixed implant bridges is that because they are fixed into place, um, they can be more difficult or more troublesome from a maintenance point of view in terms of like everyday cleaning and hygiene. For example, if you have natural teeth, you should brush it at least twice a day and frost once, once a day. And this basically makes sure that any plaque buildup between our teeth is properly removed because plaque, it's basically like uh, food debris and uh, bacteria that stick to your teeth and over time plaque causes problems and it causes problems on natural teeth and it causes problems on implants as well. Plaque has a very important role in causing bone loss and causing patients to lose their natural teeth. If you're now looking at having a uh, fixed implant bridge it's very very important that we can control plaque and to make sure that we can clean properly. In certain cases, a fixed implant bridge becomes quite difficult for patients to clean thoroughly um, underneath the bridge and around the implants. Those spaces that are, are left in order for uh, hygiene to be carried out, they need to be small so that things don't get stuck in between. But if they're too large, which means that you could easily flush or rinse through, then food can get um, you know, can, can get stuck and it becomes annoying. So patients generally want to have something that's quite tight fitting to the gum so that things don't get stuck underneath. But then if it's very tight fitting, it becomes difficult to clean underneath the bridge. Then cleaning is not done uh, thoroughly and over time, it's going to lead to problems. So when considering dental implant treatment, we have to think long-term, can this treatment be sustainable? Can it be maintained? Is it going to be in the patient's best interest? Is going to last a long time. And if we see that some patients, because they lack uh, dexterity in their hands and they 
struggle to brush or floss uh, properly, sometimes arthritis or just generally they would struggle. Um, there are other solutions. You can, you can still replace a, a, a number of teeth, for example, a whole arch of teeth. Instead of something fixed, it could be something removable. So we're still highlighting on the advantages and disadvantages of an overdenture over a fixed bridge. In terms of hygiene, I'm going to explain to you how an overdenture is different. So unlike a fixed bridge, an overdenture, you're able to remove that overdenture. You're able to look at it and actually see if it's clean and you can clean it outside of the mouth, okay? And once that is thoroughly uh, clean, the small devices or the small bars that are in the, the mouth, they're much more accessible and easier to clean. So generally, an overdenture is easier to keep clean because it's designed more from a, from a, from a hygiene point of view to be sure that you can actually get to those areas, especially around the implants that are so important. So a fixed bridge, yes, it is better in terms of it's screwed into place and it feels like it's a part of you. Um, Overdentures can be super precise fitting. They are uh, clicking onto small attachments. Overdentures can be very precise fitting, very comfortable. Main difference there being that it can be removed <coughs> and it can be inspected and checked and cleaned and it can be replaced. The second advantage um, which I tell patients about an overdenture is that in certain cases, from an aesthetic point of view, a fixed bridge is not the best solution. When we lose natural teeth, we lose also gums and we lose bone support. And this bone support uh, and gum tissues, it basically shrinks once the tooth has been removed. This change alters the facial profile. So if you were looking at somebody that had teeth, this facial profile, the lip position, it's all relative to the positions of where the teeth are. But if you remove teeth, you don't just lose the position of the tooth and the support that the tooth provided. In time, the gum and the bone will also shrink and it causes uh, bigger changes on the overall facial profile, facial appearance. Now, with a fixed bridge, it's more challenging to try and reconstitute that facial profile in some cases because we need lip support and we need to be able to bring the upper lip or the lower lip to the same position that it was in the past. But if we're doing that with something fixed, it becomes more difficult to keep clean. So very often, patients that have, for example, a full denture, aesthetically it will look very good because the denture has what's called like a, a flange, and that flange can basically provide support for the lips and the cheeks to basically mimic where the teeth and gums were before tooth loss. The minute you take that denture out, the effects of bone loss and gum loss become evident and in many cases it is very difficult to be able to replace that uh, tissue support, that lip support, with something that's fixed. It's possible, but you may be creating a different problem or a more um, serious problem in the future in terms of how do you keep that clean because if you have this lip support that, that is fixed, you can't clean behind it. That is the reason why overdenture would be a great alternative in certain cases like that. So if, for example, you need that lip support and you need um, a flange of material to basically provide um, aesthetic improvement, um, an overdenture is great because we can add artificial gum to replace what's been lost. Aesthetically, it looks very good. The minute you need to clean it, that overdenture can be unclipped, it can be cleaned thoroughly, and then it can be basically uh, placed back into position. From a facial profile and a tissue support um, and uh, aesthetic uh, result, an overdenture can sometimes be a really good alternative to a fixed bridge that doesn't provide um, that facial profile replacement that, that, I, that I explained. Overdentures um, over time will require more maintenance than a fixed implant bridge. The reason for this is that the overdenture needs to be clipped into place and it's unclipped, and then it's clipped into place and unclipped, and it's clicking in and clicking out on a daily basis. Over time, those small attachments will become uh, worn, they will need replacement. Quite often, patients will be told that those attachments can last anything from six months to a year. 
even though it's not a, a very frequent replacement, some patients do find it annoying that the overdenture needs to be replaced, or those attachments need to be uh, replaced after a, a few months. Those attachments generally are quite easy um, to obtain. Most dentists that uh, provide dental implant treatment will uh, carry a small uh, supply of these and they can be changed usually within a few minutes. From a cost point of view, overdentures, um, if you take an example of an overdenture with just two implants, it can be a really cost effective solution. So I guess that's an advantage uh, when compared to a fixed dental implant bridge solution. Yes, with more implants and with more complex bar designs and bar structures, a bar is that structure that will be under the overdenture that the overdenture will attach to. Those designs and those structures can get quite costly because they are precision milled, they are custom devices. It would be imprecise to say that one is generally more costly than the other. Um, but if you were to use just the example of a lower overdenture on two implants, we could say that that actually is a much more affordable solution than a fixed bridge. It's a very different solution, but it's one that can really make a big difference to someone who struggles with a removable lower full danger. So in summary, I hope it's given some uh, background into how overdentures can be beneficial. Um, here at the clinic we provide uh, probably more fixed implant bridges when compared to overdentures. However, we see um, many patients needing a specific type of treatment and overdentures very often is a really good solution for that. Um, to recap for hygiene, overdentures are more easy to clean. You can visually see what needs to be done. Um, in terms of tissue um, support, in terms of lip support, facial profile, very often overdentures will be um, superior and more favorable from a hygiene point of view for those patients that need um, a considerable amount of facial profile support to try and recreate where uh, those tissues were before tooth loss. I hope this is uh, helpful. I thought it would be uh, good just to give an update on this topic. Um, if you did want any more information about overdentures, you can check our website. The address is www.brightonimplantclinic.co.uk and if you have any questions about overdentures, by all means, please post uh, me a question or send me an email um, and I'd, uh, I'd love to welcome you to the clinic. So that's all for today and I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.